I think it's true to say that science and religion do have different spheres of operation. And why that's important, I think, is that this means that sometimes when people say science and religion compete directly to give explanations for the same kinds of things, they're mistaken because science and religion do attempt to answer different questions. So the idea that science deals with reason and religion deals with faith, while it's an exaggeration, I think there's a truth to it. And the truth is that they do have different areas um, in which they operate. Where I think it's an exaggeration is that for a long time, and be part of the, the Christian tradition at least, is that reason plays a major role in our understanding of the world and why we're here. Uh, it plays a major role in informing our moral values uh, and our purposes. So it's an exaggeration to say that religion only deals with faith and not reason. But I think equally to think that science purely deals in the realm of the provable uh, is also an exaggeration. Um, and we have many instances in the history of science where it's the case that scientific speculation goes well beyond what we might know through reason alone and through proof. Um, and that these, these scientific ideas have subsequently turned out to be reasonably well founded, um, although, as I say, they've gone well beyond what, what, we, could, what we could prove. Um, Copernicanism, the idea that the sun went round the earth and not vice versa, was one of those that couldn't be proved but seemed to be mathematically well founded. And I think if we look at the current speculations of string theorists, for example, these speculations in the realm of physics go well, well beyond anything that has been established experimentally. And indeed, many physicists believe this to be a problem, though this is the state-of-the-art account of, uh, of uh, physics at the moment.